Christina Lindley here for Card Player TV, bringing you a behind the scenes look at the making of the brand new WSOP bracelet. Let's go check it out. Good afternoon, my name is Steve Sofa. I'm the official jeweler of the 2010 World Series of Poker. And today we are in the epicenter of the jewelry uh, district in Los Angeles. Uh, what I'm gonna show you today is actually the making of the bracelet, how it's produced, uh, how it's drawn, uh, from soup to nuts. Uh, I want to show everybody in the world of how a bracelet is made uh, from a timeless point of view, from an artisan's point of view, and that's really what I do. If you guys noticed, as last year, uh, Joe Cato was wearing this watch here, obviously without the diamonds on it, but he was wearing the Suicide King watch when he won the 2009 championship, and that's what kind of springboarded myself and Ty Stewart at the World Series of Poker to create a collaboration to where then we can create the baddest and most prestigious bracelet that the world has ever seen. Here we are in the real brain center and the design center of, um, of how we're gonna actually make the bracelets. And so here's how we basically started out. It's a, called a CAD design, which is a computer animated design. The nice part about what we're gonna do here is everything is based on perfection. And to create perfection, we have to start off just like she's doing here in line drawings. What I want to do here is make a complete contoured piece that has levels. And what we mean by levels is you're going to have a level of where your text is going to be, let's say the 2010 or the champion, and then where all your diamond setting is going to be. This is extremely important because this is the flow of the bracelet. You'll see on the front end of here, and I call the front end kind of like the Mach 1 uh, back in the old Speed Racer days here, of how the lines are going to start coming into play, and this is how it's all going to start and develop. Once you are a winner at the World Series of Poker, I will have my engraver sitting there on site ready to engrave your name personally on that particular piece. And surrounding it will be a couple diamonds and a couple rubies um, that will basically enshrine you in history. And I think that uh, is extremely important um, for not only the history of the game, but also for the history of the person that's always going to be playing in it. Now the machine will take all these dimensions that uh, Marcel Hill and I just created. We inputted all the dimensions. Again, this is several months worth of work. And you're going to see the small little needle and the jet starting to work its magic. And he's going to take out the plate and we're going to clean it up a bit. You see basically what this machine had done for us is we have now created the actual wax milling mold of the championship bracelet. And you'll see this is how these uh, the pieces are put together. Okay. From there this is what is going to make this particular bracelet. And from there we then go ahead and we now add on the, the different uh, weights of the gold. So you can see the type of labor that is involved uh, in putting together a bracelet from doing all the small little gold chips to adding um, onto the gold and this will, is what's going to create the weight. Look, this is going to be just the start of the winner's bracelets for all the events here. And what we did is we actually machined and milled every single link together. This will all be polished and this will be your winner's bracelet. You'll see how it uh, contours very easily and on the back of this you're going to have two bars here and as they come together it's going to say WSOP and all the suits, the spade, the dime, the heart, and the club, they'll all come together as one. So when you see the final bracelet at the World Series of Poker you will notice that this is how it all started, right here. After the tour, I was able to sit down with the man behind the new bracelet and the official WSOP jeweler, Steve Sofa. 
Now, are you personally going to be playing in any of the World Series of Poker tournaments? Well, uh, it's going to be a little rough. We're going to have four <laughs> locations there. But right. if somebody sponsors me, yeah, then I'll play and it'd be kind of cool to uh, to play in it and uh, be great to win it. Yeah. Would you be, how would you feel about winning your own bracelet? <laughs> uh, well, actually, that would kind of, kind of be the pinnacle. I mean, of actually yeah. designing the bracelets, uh, bringing history back into and the tradition back into the WSB and then winning it. Wow, that's, uh, that could be a dream come true, yeah. I, I can tell you that. I've, I've heard a lot of the players say um, in the past that they wanted to go back more towards the old school bracelets where they were more just pieces that were heavy and really, um, you know, almost baller. And really it feels like you've kind of captured that and created it. Yeah, we, we had actually a conference call. Ty Stewart and I had sat in his office and we were brainstorming. He's very creative and he really loves to push the envelope. and. I really love to push the envelope, so we created a, a nice synergy, and we wanted to create something that was a bit, had a little bit more edge to uh, the players of today, right. which I'm a player, and I sponsor a lot of players, you know, like Todd Brunson and Scott Epstein and things like that, um, and we wanted to bring that, but also keeping within the tradition of the game, which right. is really important, is from the 70s, from the Johnny Mosses, you know, and all the way up to today, which would be 09, which would be Joe Cata. So it kind of uh, coincided a little bit, and when Ty and I got together, we said, let's kind of keep this together um, and do what you're telling, saying, basically, is create something substantial, something timeless, something memorable, but also something that you can wear every day. I mean, if you actually put this on your wrist... Ooh, that feels good. <laughs> it's not uh, all together yet. Playing. I will be playing. All right, little, but you can see wow. also it's, it's not finished. It's just held together now. But right. it's a sexy piece. You can see how heavy it is. Yeah, it's very heavy. You know, it's way heavier uh, than on watch. that. I and mean, you're yeah. talking about uh, about three ounces, um, just in gold there yet. And we haven't even added any stones yet to it. No diamonds or anything. Now, if I win, okay, let me when you myself. win, when I win, uh, World Series of Poker bracelet this summer. If I want to get emeralds and you know little artwork done post editing so to speak mm -hmm. once you win how does that work is well, that something you can do absolutely and this is kind of what i'm bringing to the table as well with uh wsop i'm going to actually be on site okay uh for if you win a bracelet mm -hmm. or any past winners can actually come to me and i will bling out their whole bracelet wow. with diamonds and black diamonds and rubies to make it your own sexy type of a version that you want i'll actually personalize it for you i can put inscriptions in there for you right there at the world series of poker in the Rio. Well, thank you so much for letting us be privy to your creations and coming to see the beginning of everything. And we look forward to seeing you at the World Series of Poker. I look forward to seeing you. I look forward to seeing you win a bracelet. Thank you. I look forward <laughs> to somebody sponsoring me to win a bracelet as well. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks so much.